Virgin Eyes Mercedes FBS 4 DSM on bench with CGFC 200 step-by-step -step guide. Hey gearheads and tech wizards, Hussein here, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your one-stop garage for cracking the codes of automobile diagnostics and programming tools. Before we spin the ignition on today's ride, here's a quick but vital pit stop. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Every clip, every step, and every tool shown here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and enthusiasts alike. We follow fair use guidelines, and all trademarks belong to their respective owners. Please remember, always stick to the official manufacturer instructions and follow your local laws when working on vehicles. Now, let's make this fun. Let me throw you a question. Have you ever wondered how a Mercedes-Benz DSM can be renewed, or as many call it, virginized, without actually cloning it? Think about it, and drop your answer in the comments below, because today, that's exactly what we're tackling. Before we roll, here's my challenge to you. Help Bob G Motors hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within just 24 hours. I know you can do it. And hey, don't forget, there's this cool little hype feature in the comments. It's totally free, but when you hype the video, you push it higher on the charts, and more people like you get to learn something valuable. So smash that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and hype this video like it deserves. All right, let's get into it. Today we're working on virginizing, or renewing, a Mercedes-Benz Continental DSM FBS 4 module on the bench using the CGFC 200 ECU programmer. The specific models that fall under this category include Mercedes-Benz C207, C292, W166, W212, W218, and W447. If you got one of these sitting in your bay, this guide will come in clutch. Here's how it works. First, select Mercedes Continental DSM FBS 4 MC9S 12XEQ512 platform mode from the FC 200 programmer menu. This is the starting point that ensures the programmer knows exactly what hardware it's dealing with. Next, you'll need to double check the wiring diagram because wiring is everything when bench working. The connections are straightforward but must be precise for separate 12V connections, one ground, GND, and of course the CAN-L and CAN-H communication lines. Connect the FBS4 DSM module with the FC 200 following this exact diagram. One wrong connection can mean wasted hours, so take your time here. Once connected, the FC 200 offers you several powerful functions. You can read the flash. Though it's important to note, this cannot be used for cloning the DSM. Write the flash when needed. Change the VIN if the module requires it. Renew or ref flash the DSM, which is exactly how we virginize it. And of course, transfer data across modules. After connection, identify the DSM in the software. If it's properly activated, you're ready to move forward. The first thing you should always do is read and backup the flash data. This backup ensures you've got a safety net in case anything goes wrong during the process. Once that's secured, select Renew slash Ref Flash to initiate the virginizing process. The software will reprogram the DSM wiping its previous data and setting it back to a fresh, out-of-the-box state. And just like that, your DSM is renewed and ready for pairing with a new vehicle. And there you have it. A Mercedes-Benz FBS4 DSM successfully virginized using the CGFC 200 ECU programmer. All done safely and efficiently right on the bench. Thanks for sticking with me till the very end. So, circling back to the question I asked earlier. Yes, you absolutely can virginize a DSM without cloning it. And as you've seen, it's a clean, effective process. Personally, I find the CGFC 200 a game changer for jobs like this because it makes what used to be a complex, dealer-only procedure accessible to independent workshops and skilled technicians. But what do you think? Would you try this yourself? Or do you prefer leaving it to dealer-level tools? Let me know in the comments. And here's a fun fact to take away. Did you know that modules like DSMs in modern cars communicate thousands of times per second with other onboard computers, making them one of the most critical links in vehicle security? That's why virginizing them correctly is so crucial. Before we sign off, 
Let's revisit our challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours. Share your thoughts, questions, or just hype this video to show the world Bobji Motors is where real automotive knowledge lives. And if today's walkthrough gave you value, hitting that super thanks button is one of the best ways you can support this channel. Until next time, keep learning, keep diagnosing, and remember, every module has a story, and at Bobji Motors, we're here to help you rewrite it.